So, is this the world's smallest Ryzen PC? Oh wait, no, it's a MacBook. What's underneath it? Oh, the world's smallest Ryzen PC. At least that I can imagine. This is a NF3 S3 case. Um, I don't believe they're made anymore. But you can see it's pretty small. That was a 15 inch MacBook on top of it. It's an older model. But it gives you an idea of the size of it. And it's, this is featuring the Ryzen 1400. Uh, overclocked to 3.7 gigahertz at about 1.2, I think 1.225 volts, 1.23 volts. Um, and it runs fine, runs stable, I haven't had any problems. Uh, I don't do a lot of benchmarking, I just, if it runs when I need it to run and it doesn't crash, then I'm happy. So it's running Battlefield and everything like that, no problem, Battlefield 1. And uh, runs that great. And some uh, specs here, you can see from the side. Now, unfortunately, I have it kind of spaced out a little bit here, just in case. You can see there's some space at the top and at the bottom for a little better air circulation. And just allow for a little bit more room. Um, things are definitely crammed in. Uh, I'm a fan of the pink, but that's all that was left, so pink it is. But what we have in here is a, I guess it's a 1400, it's on the ASRock AB350M, I believe is the motherboard. An AB350M is just about an inch longer than a Mini ITX and about two inches wider. It has a uh, 16 times PCI slot and I believe a one times PCI slot. And that's all that's in there. And I kind of guessed, I had, I had a different computer in here before, and I kind of guessed that that would fit. And it, it fits just ever so barely does it fit. Uh, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but it does fit. Uh, it's the smallest Ryzen motherboard that I know of that's on the market. I know Biostar is mini ITX, mini ITX ones coming out, but I've not seen them. Uh, I see where they exist. I may consider getting one and putting it in here uh, so it will mount up properly. Uh, but for right now, this does work without any problems. And what we have for a video card is we have a GTX 1050 Ti low profile from Gigabyte. Um, and it's mounted transversely. I'm going to flip it around here. Kind of get an idea of the back. So here's the back. I don't have a plate on it because obviously this case doesn't fit with a plate, so I'm going to have to make a uh, custom one that fits on here. I'll just 3D print it or CNC it. And then we have power in. And the power supply is not inside the case. The power supply is a Dell Optiplex, I think it's a 220 watt, that uh, I modified. Uh, for this purpose, and it's uh, plenty of watts to run. The Ryzen 65 watts. This has, a, I think, a TDP of 75 watts. So you're looking at 140 plus whatever else is in their memory and everything. So maybe 200 watts max. That's going to pull. So this has got 20 watts overhead. No problem. Runs it great. Uh, if you look at the bracket here, you can see I uh, this is uh, the video card comes a, a short bracket for the low profile and a full size bracket. And I was using the short bracket. I didn't need the full size. Well, I took the full size one and modified it so I could actually mount the video card upside down. It flips around and mounts upside down. So the top is facing down and the bottom is facing up. And that gives just enough room to clear the end of that motherboard, which comes down to about right in here. So. And it just clears. Then we have a PCI extension cable that runs from the PCI slot. You can see it's with a hole here to the video card, you see the video card right here on the side and uh, everything runs great surprisingly enough the video card runs a little hot uh, I'm gonna have to work on trying to get a little better circulation in there maybe a little small 40, 40 millimeter fan on the side or uh, some sort of 3d printed uh, shroud that pulls air from the sides or just whatever's in the case you have a Noctua I believe it's a uh, NHLI9, it's actually an Intel cooler, uh, but by luck of the draw, the AM4 holes and the Intel 1150, 1151 holes, uh, if you offset the Intel, guess what? They line up kitty quarter from each other. So I only have two bolts mounting it right now, but that's plenty enough to give pressure to cool it. CPU runs friendly cool. I never see it really break more than 65 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's running at 3.7 gigahertz, which is plenty fast enough for a system like this. 
And so this, is what I'm saying, is the world's smallest Ryzen PC. Um, like I said, a little bit more touching up and finishing up. I'd like to put some, uh, maybe some LEDs in there since we have RGB capabilities. Uh, we have, you can see right there is the uh, uh, Pico power supply that runs off the external 220 watt Dell uh, power supply. And you can kind of see all the way through there. The video card kind of comes in over this way. Uh, the only downside to this motherboard is the SATA ports come out the front. Why they couldn't put two for facing forward and two facing up like a lot of boards do, I have no idea. But I'm using an M2 drive anyways, the M2 slot. You can kind of maybe see down in there, and uh, that's fine. So that's all I'm using the M2 in here. It's all the storage I need for this. But uh, yeah, amazingly it works just fine. Um, you could probably even go with a 1500 or 1500X, maybe even a 1600, and probably still cool all right if you don't run it too crazy of a uh, uh, speed or anything over just over moderate overclocking. Uh, but I don't see the need. I think the 1400 is perfect for builds like this. It's 65 watt uh, TDP, uh, so overclocking it, yeah, you can maybe get like 85, 90 watts um, of uh, heat coming out of it. But I think these coolers are rated for 95 watts, or maybe even 105. Uh, so no problem there. It's a really nice cooler. If you need a small cooler to fit in a small face, look at this Noctua. Uh, I guess I think it's NHLI9. Um, I'll put it in the description, the ID what the cooler is. Um, so if you want to see any more details, just let me know. Um, maybe I'll try and take a shot of the inside of the case, throw it at the end of the video here, so you can uh, see how everything's just kind of crammed in there. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. And maybe you can build yourself one too, because now there is an S4 case out, which is a little bit bigger, and actually mounts the video card this way, upside down. Um, so, in the future, I would go with an S4 case just for the ease of a little bit more size. This just barely fits in there, trust me. <laughs> but it does fit. So, we'll say world's smallest Ryzen PC. I said smaller than the MacBook, which you can't really see underneath there, but you can see the end of it. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, I say subscribe for more, but... I don't post a lot of videos, but hey, if you want to subscribe, maybe the more subscribers they get, I'll start posting more videos. Um, I'm an electronics guy, so computers, electronics, soldering, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, classic arcade games, fixing old arcade boards, that's my kind of thing. So if you want to see any more of that, just uh, post a comment, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll try to make some videos like that. All right, thanks.